All right, what is up, guys? This is another As Divine walkthrough. This is the final fight, so here we go. As soon as we walk up the stairs, we are going to trigger a series of cutscenes and then the final uh, knocked fight. So I hope you guys are ready. We have our charge gauge, and we are about to, ready to start the fight. Trust gauge, rather. Trust gauge. Starting the fight right now. Last quest completed. This is it. We found the shadow deity. Let's make him understand. Knocked. Lumiere. You don't look to be in the mood for a long spiel, so let me cut to the chase. I. Felix! I would destroy you, Lumiere, and as divine with you. I would destroy everything. Looks like he can't hear you. Then what do we do? We'll have to wear him down. That's the only way. Understood. And let's get to it. Okay, so. This is actually a two-part battle. The first part is going to be just us doing damage to him. And then the second part, we will use our trust gauge. So we're not going to use our trust gauge the first time. If you're wondering why, you'll find out in a moment. So we will go and start off by buffing everything and lowering Nox's um, ability to do damage. Guard down here. And if you saw at the very beginning, it just reflected magical attacks. So we can't use magical attacks. We're going to have to rely on physical attacks at first. So. Zack with the Hexa Slicer. Actually, you know what? Um, since it's a shadow image. Uh, nope, that's not right, is it? Yeah, it's a shadow base, so we can use our hex our light slice. Now, War Dance coming out for Selene. Please tell me we have enough skills. Oh, we don't. Urgh. I should have charged those up. Okay. Well, we will go ahead and use a. I guess a Fan Crush then. Yeah? Man, that is a bummer. That was actually... I should have checked on that. That is a line guard up instead. And Stella... She will use her... This is starting to get exciting. Good damage off there. Uriel can use a attack down. Nice shining blade damage, really good there. Armor break on Selene. Fortune does not kill us. And Felix. You can use an attack guard up. I think, a, yeah, a line attack up is going to be quite good here. So we'll use that for Zack and Stella. And Celine, we should have enough skills. Yeah, we do. We we'll use our Dragon Fang. Two more turns left on Zack. He has a Doom Timer set up, but that's plenty of time for us to do a lot of damage. Shining Blade number two. Casual 30,000 damage. Awesome. And I think is it... Oh, okay. We can use the magic damage now. Use a Shadow Attribution. Felix is going to use his her, I should say, Holy Lightning. Grudge on Zack. Taking just more damage. Contradiction Wave is going to nullify our positive stats. No big deal there. Shadow Attributor coming out from Uriel. Zack doesn't have enough damage to use another Shining Blade. Who's going to use is, I guess, a Steel Slash. Actually, you know what? We can use some buffs now. So we'll get, use a Line Guard up. Getting a speed. And Uriel can use a Shadow Attributor. Selene. 
think I don't think a shortcut is gonna be as good here, so we'll go ahead and use a holy lightning instead. And Felix will use Shadow Attributor. Blackout, uh oh. Yep, that's a one hit KO move. Death Slash on Zack, that may actually kill Zack. Nope, not quite, just barely hangs on by a thread. And Shadow Attributor is coming out. We reached a countdown on Zack, so we end up losing him there. We have Uriel with another Shadow Attributor. And Noct is very close to dying, which is good for us. Now skills, we're gonna use a Dragon Fang. And we should be good to go here. Armor break for Selene. Hopefully that won't kill us. Thank God. Death slash on Stella. Okay. Another armor break on Celine. Should be. Nope, we didn't let that one. Death slash number two. Oof. Okay. And we should be able to. This should finish him off. This is starting to get exciting. And there we go. Awesome. So the first rounds down. Whoosh. Ugh. I don't think we've worn him down, but rather we made him stronger. Knocked. This is starting to look really bad, but there's got to be a better way, there's got to be a way to beat him. Wait, the heart jewel. Limitless your power. Legion. Do not give up, Lumia. Humans. Party HP, MP, and status restored. Awesome. I now leave the rest in your hands. Looks like this boost of energy came in just in the nick of time. It's a good thing we held out that once we held onto that knickknack. Mm -hmm. And now we must claim victory. It's too early to give up. Felix still hasn't got through to him. Right. You have to just help him. Then follow my lead. Alright, so we get this interesting cutscene and isn't that the most craziest artwork you've ever seen? Now, there is a reason why we saved up our trust gauge, and you're about to see why. We're gonna immediately use our Substitution on Uriel. And now we can use our trust gauge. Okay, so what we're gonna do at this point is use our items. Uh, you notice I haven't, haven't used items this entire game, and the reason why is because we thought we'd need them for later, and it turns out this is the fight where you're going to need them. So we will go to our items and use all of our available uh, Shadow Shock Stones, and we're just going to use it on the enemies. And everyone should be paralyzed, so we'll, we'll have a little bit of time here. And yeah, we're going to use all of our Shadow Shock Stones, so I'm just going to keep scrolling over here. And using the Shock Stones. These things don't respawn, but they have so much health. Without a Trust Gauge, this, I've tried this fight so many times without a Trust Gauge, and it is basically impossible. Um, even with some really good RNG, I think it's like really, really hard. So we're going to keep um, using our Shadow Shock Stones. Thankfully, this Ariel's trust is going to keep these things uh, paralyzed for quite some time. So we should have enough, plenty of time to use our, all of our items. And Celine, now we can use our war dams. We're going to want the speed buff. Shadow Shocks that again. 
And there we go, we got rid of those. Now here we can just use our shadow attributions, since that's gonna do a little bit more damage than the actual item. Shining blade for Zack. Still can't move. Shadow attribution. And Felix, I believe Shadow Attribution is still stronger than an item. Nice 40,000 damage there. More damage, and that ends the fight. There we go. Very, very clean. It's done. Yes, Mr. Over now. Victory. Goosh. Is this the magic of those monsters we fought earlier? What happens? Are you back to your old self, Noct? L Lumiere? Felix, he doesn't look like he's finished yet. Stay back. It'll be alright. Now stay where you are. Lumiere, this is all my fault. Your servants, thinking of you. Thinking of you and I, I chose the path of death, but the blame lies with me. Had I realized your plight sooner, you could have avoided this grave conflict between us and the loss of them too. I am no longer worthy of being called your friends. For this, I won't ask you for forgiveness because this is all my fault, but I am determined to bear the consequences. It is not necessary, Lemire. The fault also lies with me. I was not clear in my thoughts. I mistook the fact that you we had been together for countless millennia. You could have read them instead destroyed our relationship. I should have realized taking our, your crest and driving you from Eternia would only result in making an enemy of you and forcing you to protect Azavan. Knocked. Well, no, I value you as a friend and this world we created together. So, what do you say making up and fixing this broken world? Lemire. If it's faith you're worried about, don't be. We heard from the Felix. We are now... Aware of the cycle of both life and death. If we make the people of Azdaban aware of this fact, I'm sure their faith will, and you will increase once again. Of course, we can't say it'll happen overnight, but if we work hard to spread the truth, I'm sure people will understand. Well, do what we can to help you. So please trust us, trust even us humans. I can't force you to believe in their words, Nock, but I believe in them and ask you to believe in me. I had taken all humans to be fools. It appears I was mistaken in my assumption. They appear to be good, loyal friends to you. Mm -hmm. Of course they are. Knowing you and people like them exist in this world, I feel as if I can trust the future of it to you. Knocked. Knocked! However, as for myself, I influence the world too much with my powers and crust is on the verge of breaking. This will surely lead to the destruction of the world. No. No, then why did you try so hard to? Don't cry, Lemire. I'm not. You knew this was a possibility when I did what I did, and it seems my sins have caught up with me. However, this world you have created, this world you have created a bond with is beautiful in my eyes. Now I ask you to protect it. You have my word. And you humans, I ask you to support Lemire. We will. Lemire knocked. I've always loved you, and thank you. Oh, so sad. Felix, I suppose this is where I fill my role. Kitty cat. Light anxiety. Meow. Huh, Felix? Where are you looking? I'm over here. Light anxiety, is that truly you? What do you think? Oh, wow. What's the matter, Zach? Are you stunned by my beauty? Ow, what was that for? Because you didn't tell me the woman I saw in that dream before was actually you. I imagine I could get a good reaction out of you. Well, you did, but your personality is exactly the same. How rude. As, as if that's a bad thing. What was that? With Nock 
having vanished this place, the faith placed in him has nowhere to go. If I don't take his place, it could cause the destruction of the entire world. Wait. Sorry, but we didn't have time for this conversation. We don't have time for this conversation. You're not really thinking of trying to handle the power of both crests, are you? Is that even safe? What are you talking about? Nock did the same thing in Rivera and... There was a problem, wasn't there? One deity can't handle both, and definitely not in the central world. You know it, too. Zack, I can feel it. That is why the light and shadow potency are needed in this world. It's like you said before, right? Zack, don't tell me you're... Yeah, I'm going to fill the void. What? Do you even know what you're saying? Actually, now I do. You can't. You can't, Zack. This will mean you cease to be human. There must be another way. Stella, I can't agree to this either. Even even should it be necessary for the light deity as a deity and you as light presence to save the world, I must take issue with what you were pr proposing. I never agreed to it either. While it's true, I've sought to help from you up till now. I never expected you to become like me. I know, but it, it's what I feel I need to do. Not out of obligation, but out of concern for the world. That's why I want to let you do let me I want you to let me do this. I see your determination is very strong. Well, I'm really against this act. But it's your decision and I feel I should support it. Stella, why? I'm sorry. Why do you always have to do things without thinking about those around you? I wish I could tell you. You always used to do things like sneak outside and come back muddy or even into the woods alone and pick a fight with some monsters. I did that, didn't I? And in spite of your bad habits, whenever you saw somebody in need, you would throw yourself in danger, danger's way to save them. You're a fool and too compassionate. Now, Gozak. I will, and I hope to see you again. I'm not asking your opinion on this one, Felix, but if I'll need to become a deity like you when I ask you, then I ask you to teach me the ropes. You're a stubborn one, but you've got potential. Well, some potential is better than none at all. As a light presency, you can't make take Nox's place. You'll have to take my crest and become the new light deity. Understood. As for you, young wildcat, meow, your new name will be, from now on, will be Lemire, and mine will be Felix. It's a good name, so be sure to like it for me. Meow. Now, as the new light deity, your first job is to return your companions to their own world. Got it. Zack! I hope it won't be for long, though it may be forever, but whenever you, wherever you go, our hearts will always be connected. And we see them return to their main world. Have we really turned to Azdaban? Look, the door to Eternia has closed. Zack, Stella. You never were one to think about consequences of your actions, Zack. Stella. You have no need to hold it inside. It's okay. No distance can separate us. As long as our hearts are connected, right? I could not have said it better myself. Mm -hmm. That is right, isn't it? Meow. Several days later, Chaldea Orphanage. Stella, you're finally back. I am. I'm sorry it took this long. Meow. That's not important. How are you holding up? Oh, I almost forgot. This cat here is no longer called Felix. His new name is Lemire. He can't speak to anyone. He can't speak anymore either, but it c I can understand him. What's the matter, Miss Her Heimert? I said this was always your home, remember? You never had to worry about coming back, especially if you needed a shoulder to cry on. Miss Heimert, there was something I wanted to say to him more than anything else, but I couldn't. I just didn't want him to worry after I said goodbye. I know, dear. I also found what I wanted to do with my life, but before I that, I need to let these tears go. Go on and let them out. All of them. Sniffles. Wah! It was cruel of you to make her cry like this, Zach. Let me see Ariel. In a certain forest. Was there supposed to be a wooded area like this here? If so, the map must have been really outdated. Perhaps there was a village here, too. 
If I do happen to find one, I could help increase the resident's faith by having Celine come teach them about deities. Are you seeing this, Ak? I have begun my own travels around the world you desire to protect. I'm sure there are many things for me to learn here, and maybe even things you never knew either. That's why I intend to pray and tell you about everything I experience. As long as our hearts are connected, then I believe you can hear me, Zach. Aw. So it's a very, it's a very, um, kind of a heartfelt story. It's a, not what you'd expect from, like, a Final Fantasy game. Because all, like, um, I wouldn't say Disney, but very, like, uh, upbeat. Your Majesty, you are not a child, so please listen. You have not fully recovered from your wounds and need to rest. Now, please return to your room. Dealing with these documents won't hurt anything. Besides, I was built tough. If you don't believe me, then maybe I can convince you with a little battle demonstration. Please stop this. I see you are at it again, Your Majesty. However, may I request this once? You stop teasing, Olivia? Celine, it appears I have touched a nerve with my high priestess. In that case, I relent. What? So you're only you're only teasing me? I'm sorry. I just it just I never was one to listen to others when they insisted I couldn't do something. Celine, what is it you have for me today? I wish it was nothing, and I could tell you to rest, but I have this letter from Oliver, the governor of Norden State. It is about the treaty and about his desire to speak with you regarding the building of an academy to study the cycle of life and death. A wonderful idea, given we have always, we have laws preventing the force of religion upon citizens of this kingdom, teaching them maybe most ideal way to increase their faith. I guess they learned something from the Romans, huh? If that were to happen, the balance between light and sh shadow would surely be more well-maintained. I agree. Zach, I'm doing what I can to assist you here in the world below, and if you receive enough faith in the future. Maybe the day will come when you can we can meet again. Celine, did you say something? Me? No, no, I... Mm -hmm. I can see it in your face. It's called love. In that case, I would love to hear about it. It's not what you think. Please do not add fuel to the fire. Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Now we go back to Zack. Huff, huff. Zack, didn't I tell you to avoid trying to stabilize your powers? It'll do nothing for either you or the world. I know that, but another peril world just came into being. I'll take It'll take time before you can master your powers. As for myself, I still haven't been able to master this shadow magic. Until then, we'll have to let anything unable to exist on its own fade from existence. Now, if you can't bear the load yourself, I'll do what I can to pick up the slack. Don't think I need any helping hands. I may be the new at this, but I'm also a full-blown deity. I'll handle my own work. Plus, even if I know if now we live in different worlds, I can see the others working hard for us down below. Can you see it? You can see it too, right? Yes. Okay, those who those alive and those who have died, those to be born and those to live. Get a little poem here. Those who worship the light deity and those the shadow deity, those believers and those non believers. Central world, parallel worlds in the realm of the deities in each of these worlds. Something diverge. Okay, that's going too fast. I can't read it. Can't narrate it. Even our worlds are connected, so our hearts. Oh, come on. Why do you always have to be so cryptic? If you've got something to say, then say it. You're right. And Lars, I'm truly happy with the way things are. You are? Me, me too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These feelings of happiness, we should be grateful for the lives we have in order to experience them. And if we express our thanks to the deity, someone, somewhere, will be granted a new life. As long as our hearts are connected. All right, and that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the little walkthrough. Now, this is actually the end of the main scenario. There is more to the story if you choose to continue on. You can you'll go back to the previous fight and you can choose not to use the heart jewel. And at that point you'll get 
an alternate ending in addition to more content. You can max your character out, I think, at level 100. There's also some more items and characters that you can... Items to collect and the characters you can fight. But that is some bonus content. I will leave you to discover that on your own. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I thought it was entertaining. I like how the story kind of took a twist at the end. Um, not what you were expecting, but not necessarily bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.